you can see there are some areas where it's darker. I'm going to go there. Just show you through the back. Oh, I'll put him back and get, go for something a bit bigger. Let's see what happens with the little stinger. <laughs> That's definitely a fish. He's probably the guy that released all those hundreds of dead salmon. He's on. And that's the way it goes. Getting heavy, getting heavy. Oh, oh we got whales! Morning guys, what a beautiful morning. Welcome to the video. Um, I've got to get up on the hill here. It's about 7.30 in the morning. Sunrise has come and gone and uh, so is low tide. Low tide was about, I don't know, half an hour, 40 minutes ago. Um, somebody recently asked me how I read the beach when I come down for a fish. Uh, probably low tide is the best time. Ideally, you want the sun to be a little bit higher because you can't really see, but you can make it out. You can see right in here close is the gutter. Now, it's low tide, so it's quite visible. Um, you see the waves sort of break out a little bit further around there, and then they stop breaking again. You can see there's a dark section right in here close, and then there's a sandbar just beyond that. A little bit, little bit harder to spot at high tide, but as you go along, you can see there are some areas where it's darker. Like there, to my right, is a nice dark spot, and it sort of continues, sort of continues along. Um, I'm going to go there and fish that little deeper section of the gutter. So the bottom line is. Generally, just look for darker water. You can see out there, they're breaking out there, the waves, and then they stop. And that's a, that indicates a nice gutter in there. Now, I'm not really set up all that well this morning. I've just got... I've just bought two lighter rods, and they've uh, they've both got lures on them. But I'm only fishing I'm only fishing light stuff today, so I bought um, one of those um, whiting rigs, just a ready-made, you know, those ready-made uh, rigs that you can get. So I just have these um, easy uh, lure clips on there, so I'll just unhook that. Just connect our rig straight to it. Being careful not to get myself. I'll just there we go, and we're ready to fish. This one's just the uh, the ten footer. It's actually my new casting rod, but um, it'll do just nice for this. On here, I've got the um, the Rovex Big Boss, the six thousand size reel on this one. And on the lighter one, I've got the new Ryobi. That's a 3,000 size. And for bait, today I bought down some squid. That's the head of that last salmon I caught. I'll throw him back in. I've got some blue bait in here. Just fairly small stuff, but I'm fishing small stuff. So I'll start off with the blue bait, actually. I'll get rid of the tail. And I'm just going to literally rip off two small pieces. Let's go through the back. It's 
just got the little pyramid sinker. I'll see how it goes. I may need to put a small star on. It doesn't seem to be any movement, so I'm just gonna lob it just on the far side of that gutter. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna hold. It's already been washed in. I should have put a little star on. Yeah, no, it's washing it in. I'll, I'll bring it back in and I'll put a little star on. Yeah, we've got a lot of debris on the, on the beach. Got this spongy stuff everywhere. Got a cup of tea out. That's where I keep the sinkers. Certainly don't want anything too big. Yeah, I'll just try the smaller one. It's a little size two, I think. I may need a snap swivel. I don't think I'll get it on that little loop. I go through with the loop. Did I? No, I didn't miss him. I'll bring him up. It's going to be a tiny little salmon, I'm guessing. Yeah. <laughs> he's definitely, he's legal. My knife is 210, so he's going to be... 20, 23 centimetres. I'll put him back and get, go for something a bit bigger. Yeah, he's all right. Got my piece of squid in here. Just, just cut little strips, so actually might come down this way. Like that. And just cut just little one inch strips. Got my little chopping board here, I don't know why I don't use it. Yeah, so just short sections like that. It's like a cold morning. Fingers don't work too well. Just like that. Yeah, right there. Birds diving just out in front of me. Just saw a big splash. Something on it? Yep. Jeez. Oh, he's on there, I think. Just another little one. Yeah, it looks like they're all that size. Barely hooked. This one's bleeding a bit. They bleed easy, don't they? They'll be alright though. 
Yeah, just over legal. What I might do is flick the lure in. Let's see what happens with the little stinger. I have had those small salmon grab this before. I'll flick it right out to the sandbar and come across. Yeah, I just went to the other side of the sandbar. There's that bloody trawler. Take off again. Oh, oh, I thought something went for it then. Did I pick something up? No, I think something had a go at that. Fingers are bloody so cold, I'm not letting go when I should. Oh, jeez! That might have been the sandbar, actually. Ah, oh, that's a fish! That's a fish! <laughs> that's definitely a fish! He feels a bit bigger. No, he's not, though. I had a feeling they'd take the stinger. <laughs> They're good fun on this light gear. And yeah, is it probably slightly bigger? <laughs> I'll let this guy go too. He's probably the guy that released all those hundreds of dead salmon. Jeez, he's in bloody close. Uh, we'll get these little baits back in. I'm hoping for a bloody mullet or something, you know. He's on it. Yeah, he's on. I'd like to say it feels a bit heavier, but it doesn't. <laughs> oh, maybe. Oh, it's putting up a bit of a show right here. They're a bit of fun, but too small to eat, I reckon. There you go, mate. They're definitely more fun on the lure and light rod. On this light stuff. <laughs> they hit viciously. Oh! <laughs> Come here. guys that's gonna do for this little session I'm getting hungry I'm going up to have some breakfast just getting that small small stuff I was hoping for a maybe mullet or something like that but they're just a little bay trout a little salmon so um, I'll leave this session here and um, maybe I'll come I'll probably come down again tomorrow hopefully have some more luck
I might fly out and see what those birds are diving at. See that one right there? Start recording. Go and have a look. Make out what they're uh, what they're diving for. Whatever it is, it's pretty small. make out what they're diving at, I don't know. Another stunning morning. And then put it through the bottom. Like that. Through there. Like that. I reckon that's not a bad looking bait. and 20 meters They're scaring the birds away now 150 meters that's about 200 meters I'll stop there turn it around and that's the way it goes Close the bay alarm. It's 
that's it. We're drone fishing again. Let's see if there's any of those little tackers still hanging around. Getting heavy, getting heavy. We got something. We got something on. Or drag. There's reasonable weight to it. Whatever it is, it's on the surface out there. There's definitely something on there that shouldn't be but I'm not excited by it. <laughs> Definitely not excited. Look at that, look at that. Oh, it's probably a big banjo or something like that. He's just gonna show a bit of resistance now. Yeah, it looks like a banjo. Banjo, Ford Jackson, draft board. It looks like a draft board, actually. No, I don't want one of those. I don't want one of those. Oh, that is extremely disappointing. No, I didn't want this. This guy? That's not what I wanted. <laughs> Bloody thing. Oh, put him back in. <laughs> what a pain. Oh, mate, you go back in there. Yeah, off he goes. Yeah, you can see him quite clearly. The water's that clear. That's the way it goes. You can't pick what takes your bait out there. Ah, oh, it's a bit of fun though. A bit more practice for the real thing. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna call it. I had to destroy my rig uh, to get it out of him, so um, I might have a few more flicks. One last attempt to get a, a cook up. One more. Go yeah, off to the right. <laughs> Last cast. <laughs> oh, it's only a small one. Only a small one, unfortunately. Well, I'd have just spat it there, right there. You just spat it. Oh, oh we got whales! Look at that! Look at him. Look at him. Yeah, there he is. I've only seen the one so far. Bit of a spray there. All right, guys, I was trying to follow those whales. That wasn't easy. That wasn't easy at all. I think I've got some shots anyway. All right, that's going to do for this episode. No cook-up this time. Um, 
no fresh fish. Better luck next time. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you on the next video. Cheers. Bail arms open. Let's get moving. Oh, drop. Bugger. Sometimes when it jerks like that. Hey, bugger. Didn't go to plan. Maybe I'll fly it on the smaller one. I had it on the large one. Try that again. Ah, no good. What's happened? Maybe it just needs a bit of a bend. Thank you.